Alrighty, gonna do a review of the Mohu Relief and Leaf 30 indoor HD TV antennas today. Just got them uh, delivered and curious to see how they play out. Now, the reason I chose um, Mohu is because I uh, did some researching for internal um, indoor antennas and um, came across several articles. A lot of them had you know, a variety of different ones that were um, top of the list, but uh, I don't know, Tom's Guide um, said that they best they voted um, the Mohu Relief as the best non-amplified antenna. So I thought, oh, let's give it a try and see what's up. Of course, then um, I realized that uh, the Relief is actually a the latest version of the um, Leaf antenna. And uh, the difference being is that the Relief, um, the antenna portion itself is literally paper. Um, so it's more eco-friendly, but they claim it has the exact same um, description, characteristics, um, and um, possibilities as the Leaf. So um, I bought both, and I've got two TVs, and we're going to see um, how each one works. So let's, uh, let's unbox this thing. Alrighty, so you can see we've got in the box, we've got the Relief. And we've got the uh, Leaf 30. So uh, we're gonna open them up and see what's inside. Um, also, let's talk a little bit about the uh, statistics. Uh, I actually looked up what the difference is between the Relief and the Leaf 30. Um, again, both basically the same, similar dimensions, um, just different materials, but uh, both come with a 10-foot coaxial cable and a claim of 30 mile digital UHF range and 10 mile digital VHF signal range. So let's find out. So first up, let's open up the Leaf 30. Um, this is the non-amplified indoor uh, original version. So pretty simple and straightforward. Um, you get the 10 foot coaxial cable. Um, looks like some pads and stuff in there, some pins to hold up the uh, antenna itself. Uh, and then there's the unit. Uh, it's already configured. Um, yeah, so white on one side, black on the other, which is I think is pretty cool. All right, so here's the relief. Let's open it up and see what we got inside. Uh, got some instructions there. And um, yeah, so there's your 10 foot coaxial cable and got the pins as well as we saw before and then boom there is the uh, antenna itself um, different design here but yeah that's literally cardboard paper so I don't think you want to get that wet interestingly uh, no uh, plastic bag either so they're really taking their environmentally conscious efforts seriously this is pretty interesting uh, I just noticed on the bottom of the relief uh, box it basically has a little design and it says, uh, go find out what it's for. Well, I went out and found out what it's for. It is a stand for the relief. So you basically cut it out, fold it up, and uh, boom, got a little stand for the relief. Pretty cool. All right, down in the basement, and I've got the uh, Leaf 30. We're gonna try that one out first. I'm gonna connect it to my entertainment system. We've got Samsung 65-inch, um, relatively new flat screen TV, and um, got my receiver down there and speakers and such. So let's get it connected and see what kind of channels we get. Alrighty. One minute later, and I've got the Leaf 30 set up. Didn't take very long at all. So now, we're gonna set it up and see what happens here. Well, that was pretty painless. Took about five minutes, but after I uh, started the channel search, it found 32 digital TV air channels. So the antenna seems to be working. Montgomery was a plane. It was an illness, it was not an injury. So yeah, channels are all set up. You can see, got quite a few channels. Pretty good. 
the St. Jude from Morgan Mindy is going to get you through. Here in the USA, highest question. Seems to work great. Clear. And uh, you can see I just uh, put the uh, antenna right there on the uh, on the table, on the side table there. I uh, didn't even hang it up, so uh, flat on the ground there. Works great. All right, checking out the relief uh, just before I installed it on my other TV. Just wanted to get a closer look um, at the quality and construction of it. I mean, it really is. It's a plastic piece. Um, you know, I might want to tighten some of those screws. They feel like they could be a little loose, but... I mean, really, it's just, um, yeah, it's just cardboard, um, like you would find, uh, you know, um, uh, gosh, I don't even know. I mean, it's just, you know, cardboard you'd find at the, uh, art shop. You can see it's, um, well, let me shake it a little bit and you can see, you know, it's fairly, fairly firm, but also a little flimsy. I guess it's probably supposed to be that way. Um, you know, as long as it works, that's the, the big thing. But, you know, the, the coaxial cable screwed on pretty easily. And um, let's go uh, connect it and see what happens. All right, I got the relief installed. Again, very quick installation. You can see it back there. I just literally put it behind my TV. Um, I know it's a little dark, but uh, it's just kind of hanging out back there by itself, leaning against the wall. And, um, yeah, let's go see how we get when we auto program. So we got it on antenna. All right. It says it can take a while. So we'll come back and see what we get. All right. Channel search is complete with the relief. I got 42 channels on this TV, which is a Phillips. Uh, it's a different TV than the, uh, leaf 30 that I attached it to, but uh, and it's upstairs too. The uh, the Leaf 30 was put on the TV downstairs in the basement, so that could be a difference. But let's find out what channels we got. All right, seems to have worked well. Um, so this isn't a 4K TV, so the um, picture won't be as sharp, maybe as in uh, the TV downstairs. But still, look at that; it's pretty clear. Um, working great. Seems to be getting all the channels um, fast and easy. So, uh, yeah, thumbs up for the Relief and the Leaf 30. Um, I'd say that probably the build of the Leaf 30 is a little bit better. Um, you know, especially with the materials. I know it's not as eco-friendly, but um, it just feels kind of nicer and more solid. That concludes the uh, Relief and the Leaf 30 reviews. Thanks for watching.